I, I remember sitting in the corner during the fight, the, the 75 kilo fight, and my coach said to me, he said, George, I looked at him and he said, this is your weight, look at you. He said, look at you. And I'm looking at myself and he's saying, this is your weight. Now go and do this, you know? And this was like during a fight. And really that, that was the moment when we said, this is it. Jory at Fight Record here with George Mann, your new WBC international champion. George, how are you? Very well, thanks for having me on. You're more than welcome. On the one, like shows, you are lighter, you've been fighting heavier. How are you physically feeling during the fight? Like with the added weight, I suppose, if you're you're not I get used to fighting so heavy, is it something that you're noticing whilst being in the ring? Do you feel stronger? Is there any kind of negative aspect? Like, do you feel like you're more tired easy? Like, how has it made you feel in that kind of aspect? So my initial thoughts when moving up in the weight was, oh, my opponents are going to be big. You know, my opponents are going to hit harder than I'm used to. Mm -hmm. Um, forgetting the fact that I'm big myself, you know, I'm a big boy. Like, uh, I'm, I'm not just skinny anymore. I've, I've, as I said, I've grown physically. Um, so when I'm in there, I'm not really noticing a difference in my opponents. They're they're just hitting just as hard as I was. I would expect. I always prepare them to hit as hard as they possibly can. Um, so that that wasn't a shock to me when I thought it would be. To answer your question, what was a shock to me was my physical attributes, my powers a lot more. I was affecting people. I was I was hurting people. I was moving people back. Um, and not only that, my stamina, my endurance. I, I was, I've been a lot fitter. I've been a lot, instead of just kind of sitting back and like hoping f that they would come forward and stuff, I'm actually walking forward. I'm pushing forward, I'm pushing the pace, I'm using my hands, I'm using my knees, I'm using my kicks and elbows, and, and I'm really, really starting to, to become a more all-round fighter rather than mm -hmm. just someone who's always on the back foot, on the back foot, counter, on the back foot, counter, you know? Um, so, yeah, listen, I've, I've, I've definitely felt a difference and, uh, and I look forward to, to being in the new, in the new division for uh, a lengthy period of time. Do you feel like your like your I guess the way you fight would have evolved without that push going up to a higher weight, or did you think it would have eventually came with the lower weight? So do you really think it is something that has happened because you are fighting as you said with fifty six no fifty six seventy six like? Uh no no so it's actually quite a funny story. Um, I moved up to seventy two and a half, but between seventy two and a half and seventy, it's still very similar. You know it's. Although two and a half kilos is huge, the process is, still sucks. You know, it's, it's still not very fun. It's a long diet, a long process dieting. But um, what actually happened was during COVID, you know, this was the, the one time that we had it pretty hard in Perth when it was all new. No one knew what was going on. The gyms were all closed. And we came back into the gym. And my, um, my coach, Darren, said to me, he said, all right, George, I've I've got two fight opportunities for you. Like, which one do you want to take? And I said, I've been sitting at home for the last couple of weeks. I've not been training. Let's take both. <laughs> he goes, well, you don't know who they're against yet. And I was like, let's do it. It doesn't matter. Um, and then obviously we started talking a bit more and he, he told me my opponent for the second fight, there was only three weeks difference between them. So I had two fights in three weeks. Um, but anyway, he told me the second fight was actually against a chap called Stefan Lottering. And um, for those that know Stefan, he's, he's a dangerous man. He's a dangerous man. Probably one of the most dangerous guys I'll ever fight in my career. Um, so when I kind of said, yeah, yeah, I'll fight him, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, well, <laughs> fighting up in weight for the first time in a very, very long time. I've never fought at 75 before. But not only that, I'm fighting someone who's a dangerous and horrible fighter to fight, style-wise, and is also ranked number four in the world at his division. But 
we sat down and, and I was at the point where it was like, ah, let's just get a fight anyway. I don't even care. Let's just take both and we'll, we'll hope for the best. And the fight went really well. The fight went really well. And um, I, I remember sitting in the corner during the fight, the, the 75 kilo fight, and my coach said to me, he said, George, I looked at him and he said, this is your weight. Look at you. He said, look at you. I'm looking at myself and he's saying, this is your weight. Now go and do this. You know, and this was like during a fight. And really that, that was the moment when we said, this is it. This is time. I'm ready to move up now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, without COVID, would we have been here? Would I still be fighting at 70? Who knows? Who knows? But one thing came out of it good and uh, I'm happy to, to be here. Sick. So are you, is there ever going to be a point where you think I'm going to move back down to fight anyone in particular? Or is, are you quite fluid in that way where you don't mind you'll move up, you'll move down, just depending on what comes along? Exactly what you've said there. I'm pretty easy. Um, I, I, I've fought at the lower weights for such a long time. I can definitely do it. It's not a problem. Um, so yes, I, I'm going to fluctuate between whichever division has given me a fight, really. Yeah. Vision of one is actually 77.9 or something like that. Um, so once again, that's going up in weight. But obviously, with one, you don't want to be cutting weight and you've got the hydration tests and you've got all these extra things on top for obviously athlete safety. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, listen, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty much fighting between 70 and 78 now. <laughs> um, yeah, my, co my coach has said to me, um, we really don't want to kind of fight around 70 anymore. Yeah. Um, but never say never. You know, you, know, you never know That's what's it. around. I'm sure if COVID was to happen again and there was only one 70 kilo guy on the planet, we'd probably consider it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If opportunity comes knocking, you're, you're not going to yeah. say no to well, it, really. Oh, we'll wait and see. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to have fun. <laughs> I'm just here to have fun. That's all there is to it, right? If you're not having fun, what's the point? <laughs> exactly. So how are your next few weeks looking in terms of training, Jim? Is there, are you taking a, like some time out? Or are you just going straight in, making yourself ready for whatever comes available? Or Yep, so I'm the type of guy where I never really stop. Um, whether it's from training or work or football, I play a bit of football or a little bit of golf, as I said, I'm always doing something. Um, so my partner and I, Shannon, we actually said, no, this time we'll have the fight. It's obviously a big fight. I worked pretty much right through Christmas, so I didn't really have a break. So um, next week, or actually the end of this week, we're going away for, for one week. Uh, I've got like a four-wheel drive car, and we're going to go driving um, just around Australia, or around Perth, you know, just to uh, see some new locations and have a break. And So, yeah, I'm pretty sure as soon as I come back from that, it's going to be game on. Uh, I can already say that my uh, my phone's lit up like a Christmas tree. We have got, we have got a lot of exciting things coming ahead. Um, uh, you know, you can see it in my face. I'm I'm, I'm bursting. Um, <laughs> we, we have got some really really big things in the works, and uh, and I can't wait. So I'm assuming we'll be seeing you very soon. Then. One hundred percent. You can't hint at where we might see you, who will see you against, nothing like that, no? no. Unfortunately not, no. But there, there's there's a couple of different there's a couple of different fights in, in the works. We're just we're just sorting out the final pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's gonna be a big year. It's gonna be a really, really big year. So you'll definitely be seeing more of me, that's for sure. Good year for yourself then. Twenty twenty one will be for you. Yeah. Fingers Hoping like so. <laughs> 20 was almost like a write-off for everyone and, and like I say I know there's that many people around the world who, who aren't even able to train or leave their house yeah. or anything so you know I'm, I'm, I'm not taking it for granted I'm going to make the most of the, the bubble that we're in all right to finish up you have any final thoughts any people you want to give a shout out to any thank you sponsors anything like that yeah so all, all, all my, my teammates everyone that helped me get ready for the last fight um, as I say it was only a couple of days ago uh, you've obviously got the Riddlers, my girlfriend Shannon, um, my sponsors, my sparring partners, a couple of my sponsors that I want to mention, um, Punish Fight Gear and Nutrition, um, Main Street Barbers, Quantum Make a Cup, 
Uh, the expert that is Jack Doherty, the combat dietitian. He's the man that helps me make the weight as safely and healthy as possible. Um, and you know everyone else that that plays a part in my role uh, in my fight. Guys that buy tickets to come and watch me fight. People who comment on my Facebook posts. People, just everyone. You know, you are just as strong as the team behind you. And uh, and I'm I'm very very fortunate and lucky to to be in the position that I am. So. Thanks very much, and, and obviously thanks to yourself and the, the fight record for having me on.